In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dishcloth using the basket weave stitch. Coming up next. Hi, I'm Diet, and welcome to Turtle Creativity, where we make crafting and crocheting easy. I am so very excited about today's crochet project because today we're going to be crocheting dishcloths. I really love this pattern that we're going to be using. We're going to be using the basket weave crochet stitch pattern in order to create our dishcloth. It's one of my favorites. I love how it works up. I like how it looks. I like how it feels. I love everything about this crochet stitch. Now, when you're making dishcloths or washcloths, I recommend that you use 100% cotton yarn. So what do you need to create this project? I just said it. Yarn, of course. So definitely make sure that you have your favorite yarn on hand to create this project. And as I said before, I recommend that you use a 100% cotton yarn in order to create your dishcloth or you can use it as a washcloth. You'll need a crochet hook. I'm using the size letter I. You will need a yarn needle to weave in your ends and a pair of scissors. I am rolling up my sleeves just a tad and I'm ready to begin crocheting now. So we're gonna get started with our basket weave stitch that will create our dishcloth or you can use it as a washcloth too, but I love the pattern that it creates. This basket weave Stitch definitely creates a basket weave look and it is so soft when you definitely use 100% cotton yarn. It is just so soft and definitely perfect for dishes or as a washcloth or as a towel, even a pot holder. This is just a beautiful stitch and I really, really love this basket weave stitch. So let's go ahead and get started. When we're doing the basket weave stitch, it works in increments of eight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain a total of 32 chains and then I'm going to add four to it, which gives me a little playroom to add a little more definition to my edges. So I like to do that. So I'm going to do 32 chains plus four. So I'm actually gonna chain a total of 36 chains. Now, if you need a refresher on how to chain, I'll list it like right here, a video. And also in the description, there's a tutorial that will teach you how to chain. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna do a slip knot and we're going to go ahead and chain 36 chains. So here is our 36 chains. And now I'm gonna count down from my hook four. So one, one, two, three, four. In that fourth chain from the hook, I am going to put a double crochet. Okay. Now I'm gonna continue working double crochets all the way down my chain. And I'll meet you when we get to the end. And now for our last couple of stitches. Yarn over, insert our hook in, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. Insert our hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Go ahead and chain up two and turn your work. So our foundation chain and row is now complete. And now it's time to build our basket weave stitch. This is the fun part. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna be working in groups of four. 
So we're gonna start off with a front post double crochet, okay? So for a front post double crochet, you're gonna yarn over, you're gonna wrap your hook around the post just like that, okay? Yarn over, pull through and up. One, two, three loops is on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Doing that front post double crochet, it pushes that post in front. And that's what we want in order to create this basket weave design. So that's one, and we have three more to do. Yarn over, insert your hook around the post. Yarn over, pull through up under the post. It pushes it forward. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay? And you can already see the pattern to begin to form. All right, we have two more to do. Yarn over, another front post, double crochet. Pull up, three loops is on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do it one last time. Yarn over, insert up beneath that post, we're pushing it forward, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we've done our first four. Now, in order to make the sunken look to occur, we need to go behind our stitches. So that is called a back post double crochet. So yarn over, we're gonna wrap our hook backwards around the next post, pull our yarn through. It can be a little tricky, but just continue to work with it. Pull up, one, two, three loops is on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. By doing that, it pulls the post backwards. You see how it did that? It already, you can begin to see these posts are forward and this one is going backwards, okay? So we're gonna do that three more times. Yarn over, wrap your hook, back around, pull the yarn, see how I'm pulling the yarn backwards, pull up. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, double crochet we're doing, but we're going backwards behind the post. And see, you can begin to see the difference. Two more to do. Yarn over, going behind that post, Pull that yarn through and pull up. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, let's do one more. Back front, I'm sorry, back post double crochet. So yarn over, wrap in our hook around that post backwards, pull up. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay? And so we're beginning to build our basket weave. So four to the front, four to the back, four to the front, four to the back, okay? So our next four is going to be front post double crochets, okay? So yarn over, front post double crochets, one, two, three, four. Okay, the next four will be back post double crochets. So one, two, three, and four.
okay? You see that? You're building the basket weave pattern already. So continue doing that, alternating four to the front, four to the back. And I'll meet you when we get to the end. So for our last cluster, they are back posts, double crochets. So that's one, two, three, and four. Okay. And in this last stitch right here, we're gonna put a double crochet in this stitch. Okay. Now go ahead and chain up two, one, two, and turn your work. Okay. And now you can see the start of the basket weave stitch. Isn't that cool? <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is, for our next round, we're gonna repeat the exact same thing. So we're gonna do four front posts, four back posts, four front posts, four back posts, four front posts, four back posts, four front posts, four back posts. And again, all of this is double crochet front and back posts. Now, we're gonna go ahead and begin to yarn over and get ready to do our front double crochet. So our front post double crochet. Yarn over, again, wrap it around, which is pushing this post forward. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, okay? Again, here's our second one. Our third front post double crochet. Okay? And our fourth one. Okay, so now we're gonna do back post double crochet. So wrapping the hook behind it, pull up, see our three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over, wrapping it around backwards, pull up. There's our three loops. All right, so this is the third one. And here's the fourth one. Okay. So go ahead and continue on doing that alternation of that pattern and I'll meet you at the end. So for our last cluster, it is going to be back post double crochet. So that's one, two, three, four. And in this last chain space, we're gonna put a double crochet. Chain two and turn your work. <laughs> so we just completed the first two rows of our basket weave project. Now, for the first two rows, we started out with front post double crochets. So we did four front post double crochets, then we went to four back post double crochets, and then we did four front post double crochets. Now what we're gonna do for these next two rows that we're gonna do, we're actually going to do a back post double crochets, okay? So we're going to yarn over and we're going to go backwards. So back post double crochet. All right. So that was one. Here we go for two back post double crochet. Three, back post double crochet, 
and four. Back, pulse, double crochet. Okay. Now, as we move on to the next four, these are now going to be front posts. So yarn over, front posts, double crochet. Okay. This is two. This is three and four. Okay. So now you can really see this pattern develop. So what we're going to do is you're going to continue doing the same repetition of the four. You're going to go all the way down and you're going to chain two. Flip your work and repeat the same thing that we just did for this row. Once you have completed this row, you're going to chain up, flip your work, and then you're going to go back to how we started the project with doing four front posts and then four back posts. You're going to do that for two rows, flip your work, and then start off with four back posts and then four front posts. Continue doing that all the way until you get to the amount of rows that you would like. I am going to continue this, this pattern for an additional 17 rows. Once I'm done, my next 17 rows, I'll meet you and show you how we'll put the finishing touches on this dishcloth. So now for the last cluster of our basket weave stitch, we're going to do four front post double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook, wrap around, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Let's continue to do that. Front post double crochet. This is the third one and the last one. Okay. And now we're going to do a double crochet in this last chain right here. So we're going up under these two V's right here. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Chain up one, two, and turn your work. So that ends our basket weave stitch. And the way I like to end my dishcloth or washcloth when I'm using this basket weave stitch is I like to end it with a row of double crochets. So this row right here is just a single row of double crochets and it goes into each one of the chain spaces. So. In each one of these chain spaces, we're going to put a double crochet in each space. So yarn over, insert your hook in the first chain space, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay? And we're going to keep going into each chain space. We're putting a double crochet going up under both loops. So up under the little V's. Move that, that out the way so you can see. So going up under both of those loops, double crochet. So keep going and I'll meet you when you get to the end. Now for our last two chain spaces. Yarn over, insert into the second to last chain space, double crochet, and now for our last chain space. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Pull up on our hook, take your scissors and go ahead and cut. Okay, now we're ready to sew in our tails. You can do that with 
a yarn needle or you can use your hook to weave in your ends. Here is our finished crochet dishcloth using the crochet basket weave stitch. I'll see you in the next one and subscribe for more.